Well, families of the missing are waiting on word, holding out hope their loved ones will be found. So Maricela Burgos is at the Surfside Rec Center that's now operating as a family reunification center. Maricela? This is where family and friends are coming to get any news about their loved ones. I'll move out of the way so you can take a closer look. You see that center portion where people are huddled. That's where people are going. They're giving a name and that's where they're finding out whether they have been found. Luis Alberto, Sofia, Luigi, Anita. Family and friends read off the names of people they have not heard from all day. This is Julio Velasquez, Angela Velasquez and Terry. They are loved ones who are believed to have been inside the Champlain Tower that partially collapsed very early Thursday morning. That only God is the one who saved them. So you never lose hope. I'm not, I'm not losing my hope. That's why they're here at the reunification center in Surfside with pictures, doing whatever it takes to find them. I've been trying to reach them since 4 o'clock in the morning and have not been successful. Just shocking. you just devastated. You don't know what you're in a limbo. <laughs> Bettina Obias flew in from D.C. to visit her family. So if God was telling me be here today. Bettina was at the airport. She had no idea what happened, then found out the building her uncle and aunt live in had crumbled. When I uh, went to pick up my baggage, my sister told me that her building collapsed. Claudio and Maria Bonifoy live on the 10th floor. When I saw the building and I saw that side, I, knew, I know she's, they're both gone. I already know they're gone. Pain and hope. Crews are still searching for dozens of people. Many families are praying they'll be found alive. Hopefully they're together and they were able to help each other out and they just lost their phones or something. If you are still looking for a loved one or need any sort of information about them, you can come here to the community center. We want to give you that address. It is 9301 Collins Avenue. You can also call, call 305-614-1819. Again, the address is 9301 Collins Avenue, or you can call 305-614-1819. Live in Surfside, Maricela Burgos. 7 News. For another perspective of the utter devastation there in Surfside. Seven's so Brandon Beyer. He's positioned on the beach and has uh, more for us now. Brandon. And we have seen family members come to see for themselves exactly what's left of the building where their family members, the ones they are searching for, live and just the devastation when they realize how bad the damage is. We're just waiting and we're waiting for a miracle. We're praying for a miracle. Family members with loved ones unaccounted for lay their eyes for the first time on the devastation. Those they love living on floors no longer standing. My niece and her husband and uh, her son are on the seventh floor, which is right here that we're looking at the ocean. One woman telling us she knows eight to ten people who live here. Sometimes she too spends the night. She left just hours before the building collapsed. How many friends and family members were still there when you left? All of them. One, I don't want to talk about that right now because... As crews work desperately to save lives, a fire starts in the basement. Crews pour water on it as they try to reach possible survivors. All the rest of us can do is hope, and as one family is asking, pray. I ask for everybody to pray for survivors and that we can find them. Folks still holding out hope that that can happen in the hours, the days ahead. In fact, we have seen people here stopping on the sand on the beach to pray. We're live in Surfside. Brandon Byer, 7 News.